Great. Hello guys and welcome to another episode and today we're going to be learning glitch transitions. Um, they're all over the place. Honestly, I like never use them except for my YouTube series, but I'm gonna show you how to do them just like how you saw them. It's actually super easy. So let's get started. These are our clips unedited. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is go to the center of these clips, hit C in your keyboard to bring up that razor tool, and go three frames to the left, cut, and then three frames to the right of that meeting point, and then cut again. And so you want to alt click drag these clips so that they're stacked three on top of each other. And what we're doing here is we're breaking the clip into its RGB parts. Because every image is either broken down to your CMYKs or your R's, your G's, and your B's. So what we're doing is we're going to break that clip up. So after we've alt click dragged three layers on top of each other, go to your color tab and go to your curves. On the top clip, Click on one of these colored circles, and then click the center and bring it all the way down to the bottom right. We're zeroing out the red, so there's zero red in this clip. Go to the green circle and do the same thing so there's no green in there either. So all you have is the blues left in your image. Now we want to do that to all three, except we don't want to just do blue, we want to do it to the other colors. So on the second one, all we have is red, on the last one, all we have is green. And then, we want to do that again to the other side. Okay, so perfect. So now my clips are divided up into their R, G's, and B's, and we can start making them glitchy. So let's go into our editing tab, go to your top clip, and go to screen. Now you can see that the, the blue is starting to mix with the red. Go to your position and move it a little bit to the left. And you can see you're moving that red out of its spot and into a glitchy position. The second clip you're going to want to also screen. If you do that, you can see that your normal colors are starting to show through, but since you've moved to the position, you can see the outline of the other glitches. And then honestly, with the bottom one, I like to just move it over a little bit as well, just so like the whole image is offset, it seems, which kind of shoots it into the glitch, the glitchiness of it. So now we're going to do that to the other clip as well. Maybe this one we can scale it up for a little bit more of an offset. So when it comes back to its normal picture, it kind of pops back in. So let's see how that looks. Pretty cool. Not bad, our glitching is beginning. The next thing you want to do is highlight all your clips, right click, and we're going to nest. We'll call this the glitch transition. Now the reason why we want to nest it is because we're going to be duplicating the layers again and it's going to be a lot easier to duplicate the single clip than to duplicate all three of those again. So again we're going to cut it where the transition is and when our effect ends. So right there and right there. This actually should be right here. So this is our clips. This is the part where we're going to start doing these little cube square shaped uh, pops to kind of give it a little bit more of that glitchiness. So again, I'm going to click, alt click, drag, and drag that up. Um, maybe I'll boost the scale and it's offset to the right a little bit. I'm going to go to my FX box and then go into crop, type in crop, and maybe we'll crop the left. And maybe we'll move this to the right. We'll move this to the right, and we'll crop to the right. And then just adjust your position, your crops, your scales to your own taste. And then maybe we'll do a bottom one. So it'll be like this. And oh, let's do another one. We'll, we'll bring this scale up a lot, except we'll crop it just on the top. <laughs> So now we're starting to see this little offsetness and these pops and these glitches and it's going to give us a sense of the picture actually, you know, moving around and glitching. So I like to go in about one frame and then bring those pops back to that 
So we kind of have this cool, it glitches and then it glitches more. And we're gonna do the same thing to the second clip. Again, scale, position, however you like, and then crop. Now that's starting to look real glitchy. And it's pretty cool. And I mean, like, that's pretty much it already. I'm gonna show you guys some more tips to just make it more glitchy, but, you know, take it or leave it. If you wanna keep going, here's some more tips you can do. Alt, click, drag the bottom one, the unedited clip. And now we're gonna go into our effects box and put in mosaic. Squares. That's pretty cool, but I don't like the squares. I'm gonna go to my horizontal blocks under mosaic and bring it all the way down to one. The vertical blocks, I'm gonna bring it, I'm just gonna crank it so we got these nice cool lines. Check this sharp colors box, just so the colors are a little bit more vibrant. And then I'm gonna go to opacity and you can play around with whichever one of these that you like. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. And maybe I'll just bring the opacity down to 46, because I still want to see that red and that blue and that distortion that I worked so hard to create. We'll do the same thing to the next one. Alt click drag, and here's another cool tip. You could just click this clip, Control C, or right click copy, or Command C if you're using a Mac. Go on this clip, and then right click, paste attributes. Now we can paste just the mosaic effect from that one clip onto this one. And now our clip is looking super glitchy. Very nice. These are just the concepts and again, use them to fit your taste, to add energy, to create whatever mood you're trying to create. So the last thing that you can do, it makes this video a glitch transition not from scratch anymore as much, but it's still a really easy technique that's free and it's just a couple of clicks to do after you get past the first part actually. The first part being going to rampantdesigntools.com, sign up for their email and they're going to give you a slew of free samples of like all of their effects, free samples for overlays, glitch transitions, film grains, and a slew of other sweet things. So we'll go to our video elements. I got glitch transitions here, and they gave me four sweet 4K glitches. I like this one, so I'm gonna go halfway into the clip and hit O, which sets an out point on my clip. Now if I click and drag this onto my timeline, I just want the end of my clip to meet up to where the cut in between my two clips happens. And then I'm going to click and drag. But at least then I know that the most intense part of the clip, the most intense part of the effect is happening during the cut to make that cut seamless. Click on that, go to effects trolls, and then go to screen. That'll take away all the black in the video so you can see through the black, so you can see your image showing through and the glitch on top. Now that's a little bit strong. I can barely see what's happening. I just want to add a little bit of texture to it. So I'll bring it down to maybe, oh, 30%, 25. Okay, 25 is cool. But now with all of these things happening, we've really created a pretty sweet glitch transition. Cool. One more time. Excellent. That's pretty much it. It's super simple and you can get crazy with it, add effects, overlay different things and make this glitch transition really your own. I hope you learned something from this video and if you did or I missed something or there's something more that you want to know, any questions like that, leave that in the comments below so I can get to them. Until then, have fun, have at it, and enjoy some filmmaking, video editing uh, stuff. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.